Hey, what's up, guys? It's Love Fox, and I am going to show you guys how to make My Little Pony um, the rarity character. And this one's going to be a little bit harder than all of the ones that I've shown in my tutorials. So let's start by making the face. So choose a circle, size it down, um, keep it white. And then we will make the ear. So for that, choose the tongue emblem, rotate it around that way it's right side up and you're going to want to go into free scale and make it so that it's uh, a little bit wider and um, then go back into fixed scale and resize it down if it's too big and then once you have the ear we will go ahead and we'll start making some of the hair um, so for that choose the main shape and you're going to want to choose flip and then change the color well, I did a dark purple, but you can make it whatever color you want, I guess. doesn't really matter. Um, and then what you're going to want to do is make sure that it is underneath both the ear and the head layer. Um, and then for now, all you need to do is just kind of make it so that it's there. You know it's there. Don't have to worry about it um, until later, though. And then copy and paste that layer. And then what you're going to want to do is flip it around so that way um, it looks like it's coming from the ear. And then what I do is I just kind of put it in between the circle and the ear layer. That way it kind of looks like it's fresh back behind its ear. And make the eye part of the character. For that I chose the igloo shape. And what you're going to want to do is rotate it around and then choose um, a color for it. What I chose is like a light blue sort of color. Um, and then you're going to want to flip it and then go into freescale and make it so that it's taller and so it should look something like that and then just to add a little detail onto the eye um, what I did is I chose the visor I believe it was the shape and then choose black for that and then what you're going to want to do is go into freescale and make it a little bit thinner and longer and then just size it back down. We will make the mouth part of the pony. So for that, I believe I used the rock shape. I'm not sure, but either way, we can figure it out as we go. Um, so what you're going to want to do is size it down and for this one it's going to be kind of tricky because we're going to have to use two shapes to make the mouth. Um, so this is the bottom part of the shape um, that's going to end up being the mouth. But what you're going to want to do is go into freescale and make it so that it's um, wider and shorter I guess so that it kind of looks like that I know it's kind of hard to see with the white on white but it should end up looking something like that and then just kind of put it in there so you can't really tell um, that it's sticking out at all and then don't worry about it being perfect um, on the first try either because it took me a little bit to get it to be just right so we'll see if I can do it first try on this one though um, so for the top part of the mouth I believe I used the cone shape and this one's gonna be kind of trickier um, so for this one I will change the color that way you guys can kind of see what I'm doing um, go into free scale and what you're gonna want to do is make sure that the end of the nose part well, that's going to be the nose part, um, isn't as pointy as it was. So just play around with it. I mean, there's no exact way that I do it. I just kind of mess around with the shape until I get something that I think looks good. I guess flip it around so that way the pointy tip of it um, is actually facing upright rather than facing down. So I'm just going to push everything back a little bit. That way it doesn't look like it has a huge... Um, mouth just sticking out and then we're just gonna add like a little smile to it um so for that I just use I didn't even tell you guys what I used um I used the quarter circle shape and I changed it to a like a light gray like the 
one right above white. And we will make the unicorn part next. So for that, I use the tongue shape again. Um, then you're going to want to rotate it. Then go back and choose a quarter circle shape again. You're going to want to change it to that light gray color. And you're going to want to rotate it and just kind of make the details for the unicorn first. Um, so I'm just going to put like three lines or something on it that way. You don't have to worry about making a whole bunch of details on it and all that good stuff. I'm just going to make this a little bit skinnier if it will let me, I guess. I guess I'm not allowed to. I don't know. Um, so I guess it doesn't really matter now, but it should be something like that. So that way it has like three different details on it. And we will make the detail for the ear next. So for that one, um, use a golf flag shape. And same thing, you're going to want to choose a light gray color. Then all you're going to want to do is resize it. Go into free scale and then just make it so that it's a little bit skinnier and taller. And then go ahead and add the neck part of the emblem. So what you're going to want to use is the thimble shape and then just resize it down. Um, and then bring the layer all the way down underneath the circle shape. And once you have that, you're going to want to copy and paste the circle shape layer and for that one again you're going to go in choose the light gray color bring that shape all the way down underneath uh, the first circle shape layer and this is where we're going to add the detail on that um, and I'm actually going to make the face a little bit bigger I think it's a little bit too small so it should be ending up to be something like this. Um, and if not, don't even worry about it. Um, it took me a little bit to get it figured out how I was going to do it because um, obviously it's not that easy. And uh, it took me a little bit how to figure out the mouth part of it. But I got it down. So um, yeah, I don't know. You guys can do it too. <laughs> I swear it's really easy after you get that part done. Um, and then let's finish doing the mouth area part of it. The smile outline shape as uh, the nostril, I think, for it. So I think what I did was something like that. All right, so we'll go in there and do the rest of the hair. So... I'm just going to copy and paste um, the layers that I already have. I mean, I think it's easier to do it that way. And then just bring down the layers all the way down to where the other parts of the hair are. Um, and I'm going to copy and paste, copy and paste. It's smelling its own hair. That's so cute. <laughs> um, let me finish the other side too um, and we'll add like little accents and details onto it that way it doesn't look all just boring and bland and all just one color so once you have that we will add the accents to it um, let me just move this this is really big that's really big hair I don't even know why um so just copy and paste the ones that you already have. I mean, it's, that's the easiest thing to do. That way you don't have to size them down to the exact same size and everything. And then just choose a lighter color, purple. I'm just going to choose that one. And then bring the layer all the way down underneath um, what you already have. And then I'm going to do something like that. And then I'm going to copy and paste this one. Bring it down underneath all these layers. Sure, why not? Copy and paste. That way I can make some on the other side. Flip it around. So just mess around with it. And I'm going to bring this one down all the way underneath the face and everything where these ones are. Then I'm just going to freescale. That way it's not as thick on that side. Um... I'll show you guys a comparison between the one that I just made and the one that I made first. Um, so that one's the one that I made 
the first time. And that's the one that I made now. So, I mean, there's a couple differences on it. Um, obviously, I know it's such a long, I hate going back and forth through it. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed my video, check out all my other stuff on my channel. Um, I'm getting more things posted up. So just keep on the lookout for that. Um, like, comment, subscribe, whatever. Um, and yeah, I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.